ha, ha, ha. Greetings, YouTube. Today, I'm not going to talk like that. We're going to be trying to beat the game with just Golbat. Now, Golbat is a middle form in current Pokemon, but in Generation 1 only, Golbat is actually a fully evolved Pokemon. And it's, well, remember Zubat? It didn't do super well. It is one of the worst Pokemon we've done thus far. Golbat has some of the same issue. The move pool is bad, but we start with Screech and we start with Bite. That's going to help. Other than that, pretty much same garbage. Where Golbat kind of shines, quote unquote, is its stats. They're actually not terrible. Nothing is really a huge weak spot, and those buffs to special and attack could really help us. For now, we're going to have to battle everyone in Viridian Forest, and we're going to make our way to Brock, where we're going to have a bit of a tough time, but not as tough as you might think. I mean, Bite is normal type, so obviously that's going to be bad, but we do have Supersonic by level 10. So the trick is to use Supersonic and then try to use Screech, lower its defenses, and then have it hit itself in confusion and use Bite. Unfortunately, we just don't get really good luck here. Supersonic is 55% accuracy, and we just kept missing a lot. So I simply reset. Onyx were going to require quite a bit of HP, so if it takes two or three tries, that's really not the end of the world. On attempt two, Supersonic once again misses, which is really annoying, but whatever, I'm just going to reset one more time. Like I said, two or three tries, not a big deal. It would be really optimal to hit with first turn Supersonic, and I have the luxury of resetting. I actually go for Screech a couple times, just because I can. I want to see how much Bite would do, and I got a crit, of course. Then I go for Supersonic. I see just how much crazy damage we do with a hit to confusion bite doesn't actually do all that much but i'm at 19 hp and with leech life i've restored a little bit tackle crits and then onyx goes for bide it hits itself in confusion which kind of sucks actually because now it's not locked into bide anymore i hit with screech a few times confuse the onyx it hits itself in confusion we don't want critical hits because they're ignoring the screech drops but it does hit itself in confusion with it having negative six in defense due to screech that's going to be it for Onyx, and that's going to be it for Brock. So, Golbat had a huge advantage over Zubat here. This was a fight Zubat absolutely had a terrible time, and it only took us three attempts. Not bad. I'm not going to bother with Misty just yet. I'm going to battle Rival 2, and I'm going to try for Screech followed by Bite. It's going to be a 2 a KO, but unfortunately after two sand attacks, we might be in trouble. I can restore all my HP by using Leech Life. Unfortunately, it doesn't one-shot Abra. We're at full HP for Rattata, Hyper Fang hits, Tackle hits, then Bite hits. We're hit with Tail Whip. We're at level 17. Bite misses, Water Gun. Bite hits, Water Gun. Bite misses, Tackle. Bite misses, Bubble. I go for Screech, but unfortunately, Tackle knocks me out. This is just the nature of a solo run with Rival 2. You have to hope for no Sand Attacks or that you just get lucky. We unfortunately didn't get either. We also get Sand Attack on turn 1 of Attempt 2. It is a 2 a KO, we're at 33 HP. That means we're not going to restore to full health. We're going to get close, but hopefully that 4 HP doesn't come back to bite us. We go for Screech, then Bite. 45 HP remaining. I go for Screech, Bite. It's going to be a 2 a KO, and with 35 HP to spare, we've beaten Rival 2. Once again, it's the weak attacks that have caused this to be a second try victory, but truth be told, second try victory is way, way better than I was expecting. And I don't think anything's going to be super tough on Nugget Bridge. And so the next major battle is Misty. I actually think this one's going to go okay. We still are stuck with Bite. We don't really get a better move. It crits, which is nice. Leech Life, so we're at 60 HP. I'm going to go for Bite instead of Screech. It keeps going for Tackle. I go for Leech Life after it goes for Bubble Beam. I'm at 29 HP. It goes for X Defend, which is lucky. Because unless it went for Bubble Beam and got a crit, it's not going to knock me out. I'm going to knock Starmie out and first try victory. Okay, the first three major battles have gone okay. Surge, I'm just going to let you know right off the bat, no intention of battling him right here. Actually, this battle against the Rocket, funny enough, could end up being the toughest battle yet just because of Drowsy. But hopefully it won't be too bad. As I was saying before, I rudely interrupted myself. 
We're not going to battle Surge, so the next important battle, eh, this was easy, is going to be Rival 3, so let's skip right ahead to that. Rival 3, like Rival 2, we don't want to see Sand Attack. I'm going to go for Screech. Sand Attack misses. 25% chance of it missing. Unfortunately, it doubles up. Hits with the second one. I level up. Bite misses. Hyper Fang doesn't. Bite misses. Tail Whip doesn't. Tail Whip then does miss. Quick Attack. I'm at 49 HP. Hopefully, we hit. We miss. It goes for Teleport. Then it goes for Confusion. And Leech Life doesn't knock out Kadabra. So although it is going to knock it out on its second turn, we have War Turtle with only 2 HP now to spare. And... Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Confuse Ray ended up coming in clutch. I did use Confuse Ray. So much was going on there. I had so much to talk about. But I used Confuse Ray because we had such low HP. And I used Screech to compound with the Confuse Ray. And so I got really lucky that we won there. I was actually about to reset. But hey, a win is a win. As I talked about earlier, as we look at the grape juice uh, looking water, Surge would be a huge mistake with his electric moves. Although it is slow to skip Surge, I just don't see the point. I'm going to go through Rock Tunnel and do all that first. In Rock Tunnel, there is a trainer that you all know, you all love, the Hiker with the two Geodude and Graveler. Very shortly, we have an easy way to deal with this, but for now, we don't. So I'm going to try... Wow, that did a lot. I'm going to try to use Screech and Bite, but essentially what needs to happen here is two self-destructs and then one where it never damages me. So Confuse Ray and Screech is going to come in handy. Unfortunately, it is hitting with Rock Throw, which in this game I think only has 65% accuracy. Really weird that it does. I don't know why it's so... Like, it's not even that good a move. But yeah... Basically, I need to reset. I was checking how much Leech Life did. It's going to take a few attempts, but this shouldn't be too, too terrible. Self-Destruct, so I'm at 45 HP. I'm going to go for Confuse Ray, and then Screech and Leech Life could help. So, ooh, that means that I don't think I'd be able to take from Graveler Self-Destruct. That's not good. Uh, hit itself in Confusion. Okay, things are good here. You know what? Maybe Bite and Flinch? No! So close, so close, so close, so close. But, yeah, we're just going to do this a few more times. Eventually, we're going to win. We'll just fast forward through all these attempts. All right. Good stuff. Okay, and this one's looking good. And there we go. There's the win. Obviously, that wasn't easy, but it wasn't too bad either. I think that was seven or eight attempts. Not the worst. Bad move pool. We could get swift here, but since it's the same base power as bite and no chance to flinch, there is no point doing that. Instead, what I'm going to do is actually battle Erica. And more importantly, battle all the trainers in Erica's gym. On first playthroughs, it's impossible to be completely optimal. But in situations where you have a Pokemon that's kind of struggling and that is definitely going to struggle even more in the late game, having a gym with Pokemon you can all one or two shot is very valuable. It allows you to buy more proteins or calciums. We're actually going to buy proteins. And it just allows us to gain a little bit of a boost. I'd rather not use my rare candies. So this feels like the perfect moment to stop, especially because we have to battle Lieutenant Surge really soon and gain as much levels as we can. As you'd probably expect, Erica was a complete joke since we resist all her grass moves. I think I ran out of leech life by this point. Yeah, I did. So we have to use Bite and Screech. It's not ideal for Tangela. Funny enough, it actually doesn't make a huge difference since leech life's a 20 base power move and Bite's a 60 base power move. We finally do get Wing Attack, which is going to be nice. I'm going to delete Confuse Ray. Since we are using a fully evolved Pokemon, it is usually slow to rely on Confusion strats. In the early game when options are limited, it makes a lot of sense. But in the late game, even with the extremely limited move pool of Golbat, we should be able to come up with some better and faster strategies. So we've beaten Erica. That's three gym badges. Now we're going to go and do shopping. Although we could go battle Giovanni first. Actually, I think we should do that. We get Mega Drain now too. And with Mega Drain, Giovanni should be rather simple. It's really nice that Golbat can learn Mega Drain. It's not a move you'd usually associate with Golbat. I mean, I guess it's kind of similar to Leech Life, but the fact it's double super effective, even if it's only 40 base power against Rock Pokemon, I mean, look how little Wing Attack and Bite are doing. In fact, they do roughly, actually Bite does more. Wing Attack is only base 35 power. So, even with the 1.5 same type attack boost, we do more with Bite. 
Also, I forgot the silk scope. That's great. I had to go back and get it. So that wasted a little bit of time. I wouldn't realize that until later. But yeah, now we're going to go shopping, get fly. But in order to use fly outside of battle, we have to go and battle Lieutenant Surge. At this point, hopefully we're over leveled enough to the point where Surge won't even get to attack us. All right, Surge's first Pokemon is Voltorb. It's level 21. The best move we have is Bite. Well, unless I want to teach Double Edge, which I don't. And we knock out Voltorb in one hit. That means we're going to knock out Pikachu in one hit. Next comes out Raichu, which looks so cool in this color scheme. And a crit knocks it out. So we were over leveled with a crit that we didn't have to worry about Surge even attacking us. Pretty good stuff. Now all we need to do is go battle Rival 4, who's extremely easy. And then we move on to the second third, where we either have to battle Koga or Rival Fibel, and that's where the game's probably gonna get a lot more difficult. Pidgeotto's not too difficult for Rival 4. Growl is not too difficult for Rival 4. Execute, no, oh, it is a one to KO. I was worried it wouldn't be. I was anticipating the worst. Kadabra was, and then War Turtle, Bite plus Mega Drain, easy peasy and considering we are a poison type the next gym leader i'm gonna go try to battle is koga i don't think koga himself will be easy but additionally koga's trainers have psychic pokemon which is strange so that might be tricky we get a crit on the first drowsy and then confusion doesn't do all that much which is kind of nice we then don't one shot kadabra but it went for recover so that means we're gonna get to koga which i wasn't sure we'd be able to do but I'm still not sure if we're at a high enough level to beat Koga. We're actually under-leveled compared to Koga's wheezing. So Koga leads with coughing, which has really good defense. And we actually lost a bunch of HP fighting the other juggler. So I'm going to go for Leech Life, and thankfully, I'm going to restore all my HP. For Muck, I'm going to go for Bite, and it's going to take, like, well, with a crit, it might only take four hits. Now it looks like closer to five. So five at KO, we level up to 39. I'm going to go for Bite against Coughing 2. And now, hopefully I would survive Self-Destruct. X Attack, however. Uh, well, now I'm going to survive a critical hit Self-Destruct. So we can just try that again. That's kind of the hope here. That we just survive Self-Destruct. I go for Mega Drain. I'm just curious how much that would do. Since Coughing Special is way worse than its defense. But turns out Leech Life. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's one reason this is kind of risky, is that coughing can go for smokescreen. And we just cannot afford to miss, especially against Muck. So, we might have to sacrifice a little bit of HP, or try to heal against Muck. I'll try healing against Muck, but Muck actually can do some damage if it goes for Sludge. Yeah, see, that's not nothing. We're at 107. I might be able to sneak one in against this coughing. I'm gonna go for Bite, though. Try to whittle it down. All right, 110. That's as good as it's going to get. And we get a flinch. There's self-destruct. Hey! Nine HP remaining. Let's go. Okay, that actually was exactly what I was hoping for. That's great. Now I got to go to Safari Zone. Sometimes I do that first. Sometimes I do that second. But what's more important is what we're going to do after, which is go to Sylph Company and try to beat Rival Fievel. We don't really have any other moves or anything else we can use. So it could be bad, but hopefully Golbat will surprise us. We at least don't have to worry about Sand Attack, right? We're going to go for Bite, Whirlwind. We go for Bite, Wing Attack. Perfect. Knockout Pidgeot. As for Growlithe, we go for Bite and then another Bite. It's perfect. I go for Leech Life. It's not a one shot. Reflect is going to make this a three hit KO. I go for Wing Attack. And we're at full HP. Now do we outspeed? Yes? Um, oh, that's my fault. All right, well, we would have knocked it out. That's my bad. I was greedy there. But I think we have a legitimate shot at this. I just have to keep doing it. Anyway, quick attack. Crit is bad. We get a crit. Flinch. Okay, pretty good. Level 40. Bite. Roar. Bite. Great. Execute Leech Life, we're at 107, Reflect is fine, and a crit, 126, perfect. I'm going to go for Bite, Psy Beam, ah, just, nothing you can do, nothing you can do. Sometimes it's going to happen, it's why, it's why real time doesn't make the most sense for me for these runs. Sometimes just bad stuff's going to happen, you can't really avoid it. Anyway, alright, now we have a badge boost, which is kind of cool. 
Reflect is fine. We have full HP. Please just flinch or something. Confusion. That's fine. Okay, 85. And now we can go for Mega Drain. We're at 101. Oh, it's Bubble. All right, we got this. I'm going to go for Bite. Mega Drain. Perfect. Third try, not so bad. And Giovanni's not going to be very difficult. I don't even think there's... All right, I guess I can show it. There's really not that much going on here. We're still stuck using our initial move, Bite. It's kind of funny. That's the move we pretty much have to use throughout this whole run. Kangaskhan is by far the worst Pokemon, I think. Well, actually, Nidoqueen could be bad, but we have plenty of HP. Mega Drain, we're at 107. Now we're going to be at full HP. And now we just... I mean, I don't think Nidoqueen can do so much to me. It's going to take five or six hits. Bite does... Oh, well, crit's good. Eh, five hits. That's fine. Easy, easy, easy. Now we got two gyms left. I'm going to go get the rare candy, but we can either go battle Blaine or we have the option to battle Sabrina. Considering I'm a poison Pokemon, Sabrina seems like a bad decision. So let's go battle Blaine. Blaine leads with Growlithe. We are at the same level as Growlithe, which isn't good. I'm going to go for Bite. Now, Growlithe can only go for Agility, which we might want to mimic, but let's see if we can deal without it. We use Bite, Ponyta goes for Tail Whip, it's a 3 KO, and we get a flinch, so we're still at full HP. Stomp, critical hit, stomp, okay, we're at 58 HP, now 61. Haze is completely useless. Bite, Ember, Bite, okay. Well, that doesn't look too promising. That doesn't look too promising. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and Mimic Agility. All right, now that we have Mimic, what Mimic is going to do is it's going to allow us to increase our attack well, all our stats, except for our special, but that's due to the badge boost glitch. A more detailed description is in the video description, but you can see we're doing more damage now. The only thing is, this will go away if we level up, and we do level up after Rapid Ash, so that's a bit of a problem. I'm hoping at full HP we can beat Arcanine, but after that Fire Blast, I'm not so optimistic. Ah, uh, you know, maybe if Takedown didn't crit, we could have won. But, yeah, we might want to level up here. I did try battling Blaine four or five more times because we did get really close. But as it turns out, we got really lucky with how our canine really didn't use Fire Blast that much. And we didn't get burned, which can happen. So what I ended up having to do, there are trainers in this gym. And the amount of experience points I needed, this trainer has a Rapidash. And Rapidash gives a ton of experience points. I also have a full restore from the Pokemon Mansion, and you can see, I can see how much uh, experience points I need. I'm going to save just in case I miscalculated, but Ponyta gives an insane amount of experience points, and, ah, that growl kind of sucks, but you can see I will level up here, and that means I will not level up after I beat Rapidash, and thus I'll have more boost for our canine, and so things should be fine. I really didn't want to teach Mimic if I didn't have to. But it looks like we're going to have to. This sucks because it means we have to get rid of Leech Life. And Leech Life can be useful against Agatha's Ghost, giving me just a little bit more HP to tank a Nightshade. But oh well. Alright, so like before, we go for Mimic. Because of Blaine's AI, Growlithe can only go for Agility. This is going to help us out a ton later. It's doing a little bit more. One level is not going to make a huge difference. Up, ah, there goes the battle. We just lost. I forgot about Growl. We're getting crits, which is really nice, but... Oh, well, it's getting crits. But you're gonna see... Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Take my word for it. After Growl, we would have done nothing, and it would not have been possible. I mean, look how much the Super Potion was restoring. Unfortunately, when you have Bite, and we could technically teach Double Edge, the reason I don't want to do that is that we would take back a ton in Recoil, and I'm not sure if we would be able to survive all the recoil damage we deal to ourselves. Especially when trainers like Blaine are doing these incredibly cheap fire spin lock me in and then use potion strategy and there's another growl. I mean, here's a good example of why this won't work. Just look how much damage we do to our canine. And we were able to get it to about half health, but that's about it. So far, we're just getting really unlucky with growl. But when you don't have a powerful move that takes out Blaine's Pokemon quickly, it's just what you're going to expect. And yeah, I can teach Leer, but Leer only affects one of Blaine's Pokemon. 
while the agility badge boost affects all of them. Well, it affects all of them by giving me more attack, which is what I want. So, I'm gonna go for Mega Drain. Oh my god, it didn't kill. I'm at 125. A flinch would be nice. Miss is fine. We don't get a second miss, and there's the Super Potion Strat. It's at full HP again. We're getting a lot of this. And Growl misses. One in four chance of that happening. Bite. Oh my god. Ah, just, you know, I don't... Do we need to level up more? I'm not sure what to do. All right, I'm going to do one more time before I try something else. Because this is getting a little silly. I didn't think Blaine, of all trainers, would be the run ender, or at least the run stopper. I used one extra agility there because I was misclicking. That happens from time to time. A growl miss from Ponyta is pretty lucky. We get Stomp with a crit. That sucks. And growl. Another growl. Another growl. And we're burned. I don't know, guys. All right. Actual last time, and then I have to level up because this is getting just absurd. So I made a mistake. Oh, okay. Well, I have to do one more time. Ponyta, as you can see, doesn't actually have agility. This happens sometimes. I get frustrated. I've done a battle so many times, and you kind of go into autopilot. But sometimes autopilot isn't quite calibrated to let's say gen 1 solo run mode but it's okay please don't use growl stomp a oh, crit again a crit all right fire spin miss tail whip that's fine okay 94 bite takedown oh my god another crit oh my god uh, can we please actually the crit kind of helped no i didn't even mean to battle again no 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 i'm i'm gonna go level up this is all right well all right I guess this is the actual last time. Uno mas, as they say. Alright. Let's just knock this out. It can't actually damage me. I'll use wing attack. Bite. Fire spin. That's great. Alright. 123 is fine. Bite. Tail whip is good. Tail whip is actually... Well, unless he uses takedown, in which case it's very bad. But 123. Fire blast misses. Ember. We got a burn. We got a burn. And we're still going to win. No! Super potion! No! No! We had it! If it didn't burn, we had it! I can't believe this! How many battles is this? How many battles is this? Okay, this time, don't forget to use agility. Okay, I just... I can't get over... And it just doesn't KO! Oh my gosh, this drives me nuts. Bite! Fire spin! Fine, 123. I'm gonna use Mega Drain. No, what a mistake! Okay, Fire Spin missed. Good. 128. Bite. Fire Spin hit. Super Potion, of course. So we're back to square one. Oh my god. This is the worst. This is the worst. All right, please. Just give me some flinches. Critical hit. That doesn't help. Oh my gosh. All right, a miss. A flinch. A flinch. A win. <laughs> they don't ask how... They ask if we won, we're done. Now we have to battle the actual difficult one in Sabrina. Oh gosh, this run. I really did hope Golbat would have an improvement and I'm gonna go get strength, but this isn't looking good, guys. This isn't looking good. All right, now we get to battle the psychic trainer, Sabrina. Ooh, I don't know why I made a ghost noise. We go for bite, of course it doesn't KO, hyper potion. And <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, what a great game. What a great fair and great game. I have no moves. All right, let's just try that again. Hopefully this KOs this time. It doesn't. Okay, well, we made it past Kadabra. That's an improvement. Bite, light screen's good. Okay. Venomoth, we actually have a super effective attack. Psybeam. I mean, if we get a flinch, theoretically we win. Oh, it outspeeds. You know, should have expected that. To be fair, we have stat experience, which raises our stats. The Alakazam doesn't. And we have badge boosts, which are non-glitchy. In generations 1 through 3, you get a slight boost when you beat gyms. So we do have a 12.5 buff in whatever it says our speed stat is. But you know what? I could have done this before Blaine. I was thinking of doing this. Let's go and quickly defeat the Fighting Dojo. Lots of experience points, and hopefully then we'll outspeed Alakazam. So let's try this again. Okie dokie. 
So we have Sabrina. Do we one shot? No. That's not good. All right. So confusion. Well, that's very not good. I also probably should heal since, you know, I'm facing a gym leader that does a ton of damage to me. But all right, there we go. But I think the crit's the reason why. Light screen again. Okay, 129 is fine for Venomoth. Gen 1 miss, exciting. Psybeam, crit. You know what? I deserve that. Bite, reflect, bite, crit. You know what? Gen 1 miss, by the way, for those of you who haven't seen this before. 1 in 256 chance, a move that shouldn't miss, misses. As far as I'm aware, this applies to any move you use, but the only way you can tell when you get a Generation 1 miss is when it's a 100% accurate move, because then there's no way the move should miss unless you get this 1 in 256 chance due to a programming error. Exciting. Somehow, we had less battles versus Sabrina than Blaine. I can't believe that. And I actually think Giovanni 3 is going to be pretty easy. Nidoking and Nidoqueen might be a little annoying, but the rest of his Pokemon, Mega Drain, will do a ton of damage. So let's go and quickly beat him, hopefully. He leads with Rhyhorn. We're just going to use Mega Drain. We're not even at full HP, but now we are. Doug Trio can't really do anything to us. It goes for Growl. Actually, that would have been bad, but thankfully it missed. So that's pretty good. By the way, for those of you wondering, there's... Okay, this battle's going to be pretty easy. Body Slam did nothing. I've mentioned this before, but for whatever reason in Generations 1 and 2, opponents using status moves all have a 1 in 4 chance of them just not hitting. I don't know why they did this. I guess they thought status moves would be a little trolly and overpowered, but I'm kind of happy they did it. I'm going to be honest with you. Status moves are pretty annoying, so yeah, it works for me. Anyway, now we have to battle Rival 6, and Rival 6, uh, you know, I don't think this is going to go super well. I don't need to heal because, well, we're going to heal anyway. Against Pidgeot, we're going to mimic agility, just like we've done in other fights. This is the last Pidgeot with agility, which is very unfortunate, because if Pidgeot had agility for the final battle, champions would be so much easier for a lot of different Pokemon. It actually would speed so many runs up so much. Unfortunately, we got a critical hit, but thankfully Leech Seed missed. That would have been terrible. Now Bite, we don't get a flinch. We do not get Alakazam. We level up. I'm going to go for Mega Drain. And ooh, Skull Bash. I'm going to try for the flinch. Crit, that really sucks. What's... Okay, well, we're going to win anyway. That was really annoying. Unfortunately, Blastoise decided to get a crit here, but yeah, I mean, we should win this battle. There's also the chance that Alakazam gets a critical hit, but I think this is a good opportunity to talk about the Elite Four and why I'm not really looking forward to them. Laura Lee has Ice Pokemon, and even though Dugong doesn't have Ice Beam and instead has Aurora Beam, that's not good for my Golbat. Cloyster also has Aurora Beam, so we're going to have to get past those. We do have 11 rare candies. Ah, uh, Leech Seed, this could be bad. Ah, uh, Psybeam. Oh, well, critical hit. Hey, I said that could happen. Anyway, we can just keep talking. Yeah, Aurora Beam's gonna be a problem. Bruno will be pretty easy. We do have Mega Drain. We have Wing Attack. Agatha, we have to rely on base 35 power Wing Attack. Imagine if we had like Aerial Ace or Fly. Yeah, Golbat can't learn Fly, but Doduo can. So silly. Anyway, that would make Agatha a lot easier. Lance, the only Pokemon we have to worry about are Gyarados and Aerodactyl. And then the champion, Blastoise. The reason I picked Blastoise is it does have Blizzard. So that will be fun, but that's the end of the run. All right, come on. Yes. Yes, even if it crits, it didn't crit. Okay, so we're going to win here. Very good. We've already talked about the Elite Four. Now let's see how it went. All right, so I'm going to try not using rare candies. Let's see how that goes. I don't think it's going to go well. So we get a flinch. So here's the thing. There is a one in two chance that Dugong goes for rest because we are both psychic and flying. And if it goes for rest, since it looks to be about a... Oh my god, that did a lot. <laughs> All right, well, we got past Dugong. How much does this do to Cloyster with the crit? All right, so we're going to use rare candies. That was a terrible idea. But yeah, essentially, we'd like Dugong to faint in three hits, because if it doesn't, then it can just lock us into a rest cycle, and that could be really bad. So 
yeah, hopefully after these weird candies it's a 3 KO, but I'm not so sure. Alright, so, we're at level 61 now, bite, crit, mmm, I don't know if it's a 3 KO. It's not. Super potion, uh, that didn't do that much. Oh no, that's a bad critical hit. We might have to try this again. Alright, Mega Drain, ah, uh, another critical hit. Alright, well, the only real annoying thing is that I don't save after using rare candies. Because if I do need to level up more, it's more efficient to use the rare candies after leveling up, since none of the trainers in Victory Road, which is where I'd level up, really are going to pose much of a problem. Thankfully, I don't have to press B after every level, since it's a fully evolved Pokemon, which is really nice. Anyway, Bite, Rest is good. I'm going to go for Bite, 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 Super Potion, no, Bite, Super Potion, no, Bite, Roar Beam, fine, perfect. 134. Cloyster. Mega Drain. It's going to be 3 KO. Roar Beam. That's fine. Okay, 129. Ugh, that crit sucks, but it's actually okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to Mimic Amnesia, and we're going to use it three times. This is going to boost our special attack. Well, it's just special in Generation 1. We're going to restore HP by using Mega Drain on Slowbro. Then we're going to use Bite. It should one-shot Jinx. It doesn't. All right, well, thankfully, use Super Potion, and this should one-shot Lapras. It doesn't because of a crit, but we get a clutch blizzard miss. We're at full HP. That's really good. And now all we need to do is go and battle Bruno. Bruno should be really easy. Agatha's the one I'm a lot more worried about. Anyway, we're just going to use Mega Drain against Onyx. Knock it out. Level up here. That's fine. Wing attack. It's going to be a 2 KO. That's fine. Could be a 1 KO versus Hitmonlee. It is not, but close. Another Onyx, we're going to use Mega Drain, and it's going to be probably a 2 KO versus Machamp. Oh, <laughs> looks like I was wrong again. 3 KO. That's fine. Okay, so now we're going to use an Elixir, and we're going to hope that Agatha is kind to us. But this is probably going to be really bad. Yeah, there's really not much I can do. Ooh, Gengar looks great. Confuse Ray, I don't hit myself in Confusion. Another Confuse Ray, I do hit myself in Confusion. But another Confuse Ray, and we knock it out. Bite, Haze is bad, Supersonic Miss is fine, Super Potion's fine, Confuse Ray's bad. But we knock it out. 165 to Haunter. Hit ourselves in Confusion, Dream Eater's fine, Dream Eater's fine, Dream Eater's fine. And we even got 2 HP back. Alright, so Arbok, that's fine, Screech is fine, Super Potion, Flinch is great. We got this. We got this. Just don't use Confuse Ray, Dream Eater. No! Yes! <laughs> After that Screech, that would have been terrible. Okay. So we make it to Lance, and here's where I don't know how things are going to go. The first Pokemon is Gyarados, and as long as Gyarados cooperates, we're going to be good. But if Gyarados is a real pain, then we might need to level up. All right, so let's see how much this does. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay, that, that was... Um, that was bad. You know what? I'm going to level up. Here's my thought process. With how little we were doing to Gyarados, I was worried about what would happen versus Blastoise. I was worried we wouldn't outspeed in two-shot Alakazam. And frankly, we got a lot of luck to get to that point. I really do think that we need these levels. And most of the Pokemon here shouldn't be so bad. So we're going to level up a bit. Then we're going to use Rare Candies, and let's try and get another deep run and hopefully win! Alright, so you can see I'm a few levels higher now, I'm at level 66. I'm going to try going for Bite to get the flinch, crit's good. Is this a 3 KO? No? No, very close, and we get a attack drop. That is not good. Also, the grammar was bad, it should be an attack drop. That just means I have to use Mega Drain versus Jinx as opposed to Bite which we didn't one-shot the Jinx anyway, so as long as we don't get frozen, things should be fine. We're at full HP, so we have a lot of leeway here. How much does Mega Drain do? Eh, it's not so bad. And we didn't get frozen. Very good. And we didn't knock out Lapras. And we didn't get frozen. All right, so this is cool stuff. We can speed right on past Bruno. The big thing we would like is to cut down the number of hits we need versus Agatha. So that Gengar was, I don't remember how many hits it was, I think we got a crit, but if we could get it down to two or three hits, that would be 
ideal. The more hits we need, the more chances Gengar has to use Confuse Ray or Hypnosis, and the more likely we are to lose. So hopefully we knock out the Gengars before they troll us. And this is the thing that really sucks about Golbat's moveset. If it just had Fly here, it is literally twice the base power of Wing Attack, and it, it just makes sense, but alas, nothing I can do. Let's go and battle Agatha. All right, so what's gonna happen here? Obviously, we have to go for Wing Attack. Unfortunately, it three a KO is fine, but it's so close to a two a KO. If only it were a two a KO. But we're not confused. We're not asleep. Oh, never mind. We're confused now. And now out comes Haunter. We get ourselves in confusion. But it uses Confuse Ray, and now we're asleep. And now we're confused and asleep. And now we're hit by Nightshade. And now we're hit by Dream Eater. So yeah. This is going to take a few attempts to do, but I'm just going to have to do this over and over and over again until we get another win, which could take a while. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that anymore. That wasn't... We could make this a 2 ko There's a few trainers here. We only have to level up one or two more times. It would make everything so much more consistent, and the champion's probably still going to be terrible. So let me level up a little bit more, and then we'll battle Agatha again. So we've made it back to Agatha. And we're at level 69. Nice level. But unfortunately, it's still not... Oh, well, with a crit, it is a 2 KO. Ha! Haze is fine. 3 KO here. That's good. That's good. And now Wing Attack. Nightshade. Not great, but 104. As long as we're above 60, we're going to be fine. 81's fine. Okay, this should work. Wing Attack. Yes. Not Confuse Ray. Never mind. Critical hit. Could this be critical it? That didn't even make any sense. Anyway, Lance shouldn't be such a problem. It's really just not getting critted by Hydro Pump or something. But I think at level 70, we should be fine versus Gyarados. Bite, Dragon Rage, Bite, Hydro Pump. Okay, no! 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 All right, no! No! Come on, man. Uh, we're so close to knocking it out, but... And it's not guaranteed Lance is going to heal there. That felt so annoying. I'm just going to have to do this again because that was just really bad luck for a bunch of different reasons. All right. Well, I'll let you know when we're back at Lance. Of course, we have to make it through Agatha again, which, as you know, is very easy and very consistent. And here you can see it's definitely not a 2 ko and we're confused, and we're damaged. Alright, 129, that's fine. Okay, at least so we're confused, so we can't get hit by Confuse Rain Supersonic. And that crit helps, 99, that's good. Wing Attack, no, we're confused. And we have a nice amount of health, but that means we only have 9 HP to spare. Flinch is good, Super Potion is fine, that's fine. Okay, so we can survive a Nightshade. Dream Eater's fine, yo! No. 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 Gotta love Agatha. All right, so this is our fifth attempt. We have won twice. So actually not that bad. Hit ourselves in confusion. You know, we haven't been hit by Hypnosis Dream Eater. I mean, we were hit by it once, but we were already so close to fainting. I gotta say, we've been getting pretty average luck. So I think it's about a 50-50 shot. It's just kind of annoying. I'm more annoyed by the fact that we just really can't do anything to make this battle easier. Another Gen 1 miss. Another Gen 1 miss. I'm sorry. I was busy talking about how we probably had this. All right, we do. Thankfully, it used Toxic a bunch, but another Gen 1 miss. This game is just really testing my patience, but we've made it back to Lance. We are 0 for 2. I don't have Double Edge. I don't have Double Edge. I didn't get it. I forgot the Sylph Scope, and I forgot Double Edge. Wonderful. All right, so we have to stick with Bite. I was thinking Double Edge could be better because we do have Mega Drain. Actually, I'm going to use it now so that Lance doesn't heal. <laughs> I'm so much smarter than you, AI from 1995. <laughs> okay, so Lance's Dragonair and Dragonite, because they have Psychic moves, will only use those moves, but thankfully those don't do damage. So I can use Agility, that's more helpful for Aerodactyl, which can use Hyper Beam and be terrible. 
and it makes knocking out the dragon arrow a little easier but we're at full hp we're gonna have to use mega drain which is only neutral effective supersonic thankfully misses and then takedown does quite a bit of damage the agilities soften that blow and now we just need lance not to use barrier but actually one barrier is fine so for the first time we've made it to the champion my thoughts are as follows we need to outspeed alakazam we can't get critted and we need decent luck versus blastoise with blizzard if we get those things we'll win but i don't know how those are all gonna stack up first things first there's pidgeot i'm gonna go for bite wing attack is fine i'm gonna go for bite whirlwind is fine no no mirror move bite crit all right all right all right all right all right come on come on get a flinch yes <laughs> okay that was good luck you know what i'll take the crit because now we're gonna heal up any of that damage anyway by mega draining right on now our canine it doesn't have fire blast bite crit ember no burn great and another crit perfect now i'm gonna mimic hypnosis because i think with this amount of hp it's the safe play hypnosis misses my hypnosis misses it's hypnosis misses my hypnosis hits that's good because i don't want to be asleep for like eight turns wing attacks a three ko and now just have to hit hypnosis we miss and here's blizzard don't freeze don't crit it didn't crit it didn't freeze but we miss again i should have just gone for mega drain why didn't i just go for mega drain now i have to go for hypnosis and we hit come on how much does this do dude why didn't i just go for mega drain all right well we're good <laughs> okay well i almost messed that up that was my fault but we still won what a weird run um yeah you know i'm kind of excited to start doing runs in fire red and leaf green gonna be honest with you because it would be so cool if golbat had a few more tools 511 unfortunately for fully evolved pokemon that's just not gonna cut it just our list is getting long so i'm just gonna show you the fully evolved list very few are over five hours and so that's gonna put it in the same tier as doug trio moltres and aerodactyl and i'm gonna put it ahead of moltres so it's kind of crazy that golbat is better than a legendary bird just goes to show you how good moltres is in this game but it is definitely one of the worst fully evolved pokemon in terms of all pokemon it's somewhere in the middle but it's not really comparing apples to apples still relatively speaking golbat is a better final evolved pokemon it seems than zubat was a pre-evolved but we have a lot more pokemon to do so we'll see how they measure up once we're done all 151 of them until then thank you guys for watching take care